Right, hello, I'm back again and welcome. Now I'm going to go and just a quick look around. Kill a few mobs, of course, and it's uh, usual. Because my network is getting empty. Another one over here, let's just get him if we can. And there's a spider up there, we just get the bow and arrow and see if we can shoot through the gap, which quite often works nicely. So what else we don't want in here? Let's just have a quick look. Did I pick any rubbish up? No, I didn't. Good. Um, it's XP lying around. I've got to pick that up. So today we have to do something. We have to make some compressed iron. So to do that, let's just take out a stack of iron here. I've already got one prepared, huh? and let's just come up here and here I have got some TNT and a switch what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the iron down run away and flick the switch so let's see if I can do that it wants to be around beside the yes there it is run away as it gets blown of course it, uh, it seems to blow up the uh, that I've got what did I get? Forty six compressed iron from sixty-four. Okay, good. And there's a torch missing. I need to put the torch back on here because this is a good area for mobs to spawn. Press F seven because it it's been turned off. I'll just put a torch around about uh, da -da -da, here I think. So now we have some compressed iron. Let's go and have a look at the quest book. And here we've now got unclaimed rewards. So let's claim these rewards because that was under pressure, which was this one. And I get eight TNT, one reward bag, and half a heart. Okay, let's have a look at the reward bag first of all. It's a greater reward bag. Let's go towards the trash can because I'm certain it's going to be useless. Let's have a look. Oh, not too bad. Bread and apple food. That's always useful. What else did we get? So we've got half a heart. Let's see if we've got another half a heart here. No, we got three quarters last time. So we'll put this up there and let it uh, sort it, actually. We've got two little red hearts. We could make red heart canisters, but we won't do that yet. So, next thing in the quest book, let's have a look. So, that's, that one's done. Now we have to do Treachia. We've got to make eight pressure tubes. Let's have a look how to make eight press pressure tubes. I have no idea. It's bound to be to do with the compressed um, iron. So eight compressed, this will be the pressure tube, pneumatic craft, so it's just one piece of glass and two of those will produce four. So that's fairly straightforward. Let's just uh, put those there. We want two pieces of glass. Strangely enough, I've actually got glass. That gives me my eight pressure tubes. So let's have a look now. So that's completed unstable measurable pain so we've got to buy make a pressure gauge tube okay let's have a look how we do that one must be this so that's one pressure tube one pressure gauge which is simply four gold around or one compressed iron so that's no problem whatsoever oops well it wouldn't be if I actually hit the thing in the right place there we go so what else do we need? Two redstone. So we've got everything we need for this, I think. Yes, plenty of redstone. That's the pressure tube. I couldn't see those for a second. And two redstone, if I get them in the right place. So now we have a pressure gauge. Next thing on the list is, let's have a look. Quest book. That's done. Heating up. So now I've got to make an air compressor. Okay, so look, how do we do that? 
air compressor actually probably still on the same page here I can't see it oh. here we go so that's one furnace one pressure tube and there must be the rest must be six compressed iron no problem right cobblestone for furnace I don't have any oh, I do have a furnace already made we'll use that one pressure gauge is there and the rest of these is just straightforward compressed iron so now we have that one uh, back to the quest book We're getting through these fairly fast and that looks like I can now claim one of these two a pressure regulator tube or a pressure safety valve let's go for the first one okay let's have a look now what we've got we've got 60 more and another red heart canister so let's deal with that first of all which now maxes my heart canisters for that particular type but we haven't got any yellow heart canisters yet so what do we have a flow detector pressure tubes which we've got 22 of now pressure regulator pressure gal and let's have a look what we have to do now so we have to make some getting foggy mm -hmm. and here we have to make a charging station okay and then I'll get one either a machine upgrade entity tracker or a mach machine upgrade item search mm, interesting let's have a look charging station how do we do this charging station little bit of this one so it's three pieces of plastic cobblestone slabs and a pressure tube but the plastic is made out of fire flower seeds in a pressure chamber and a fire flower seeds are made with one blaze and seed right let's get that produced first of all I because we've got plenty of blaze rods at the moment and plenty of mobs which I'm going to have to oops I'll just quickly grind because I'm my network is not full. Plenty of grinding here, look plenty of mobs, look at that. Another spider up there, let's just shoot the spider. Can that is? Ah, oh, right. Try again. Yep, got the spider. Let's just come here and turn on my sigil of magnetization. I'll pick up anything else that I'm floating around, and the rest we can put quite happily into the vacuum hopper and I still think we've got a little bit of capacity in the vacuum hopper I mean in the in the chest that the vacuum hopper is attached to right, there's, another, there's another skeleton up there anything else interesting there not really let's uh, eat a bit as well I actually turn off this because that uses um. LP. I think it only uses LP when it picks stuff up. If I'm not mistaken. Right, so we have to now build a pressure chamber. And, oh yes, that was what I was trying to do. I was going to get my... I'm sure they're in here, actually. Maybe I haven't... Yes, there's three blaze plaid. Let's just take two and two seeds. And this is nearly always shaped crafting, so where are my seeds? Let's put those together. I think the seeds were to the left of the blaze pad. Have we got two fire flowers? Now we need to put this into. Oh, then we need three, don't we? So let's just. Did I pick up all three? No, I didn't. 
we need three pieces of plastic if I remember rightly so let's I was looking for a seat wasn't I yes there we go quickly make another five flower seats I'm not sure let's have a look can I oh, I can use netherrack as soil let's make some netherrack while I'm here I've got plenty of nether, plenty of string at the moment. I was growing some specially. That's probably eight. That's probably four. let's make a sixteen. Makes a nice square. Let's shove those into this hopper over here. Well, first of all, we'll take out the. I don't need the bone. Take out the orb because that uses drains all of the all of the stuff. And now it's putting in sixteen. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't want them to do this. Let me just take these out. How many have I got in there? Right, doesn't matter. Actually, yes it does. Let's just take those out of there. Because I only want to put 16 in, really. Okay, so half of those will now give me 16, which I can put into the hopper. And we can just slay these mobs. Should have enough LP from there demise to give me enough anything up there no nothing let's have a quick look at what it says on here magnetization divination 8000 that's plenty so we, we will have to wait excuse me we will have to wait because we're going to have to oh my god let's go this stuff another iron ingot I get those from zombies or something, I think. Right, that must be dirt. And I got some zombie fl rotten flesh. Don't want that either. Uh, and then we have another mob creeper, it was, to grind. I'm just waiting for these to turn. It won't take very long. But I don't know what the effect of the fire of these fire seeds is going to be. Whether it's going to produce something nasty or whether it's just going to so we'll have to be careful where we put it. But I think I'll put it over there by the uh oh, oops. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. I'm not too compared, I don't want those either. Anything else to get rid of? There, let's just while those are, while those are cooking, we just go over here and just sort out these. My goodness, this is full too. What can I do this one? Keep do it here, and then I can just keep an eye on the complete bow on there. Uh, half a bow, and what else do we have? A lapis lazuli sword, which we can also do. There's still dirt. What else have we got here? Nothing much, just a bit of um, string. And we have 4,000 in there. 60, I think it's about. Uh, 500 wasn't it? It's not, or is it a thousand? I can't remember. In fact, while we're doing that, let's have a quick look. Yes, I can do it from here. Another rack. Oh, yes, there it goes. Look. Alright, got it. Let's put the orb back in here and then let's just spread some some more string up there in fact what I wanted to do was to make a load of dirt oh, you see that drains it straight away so what I will do is to plant these over here beside this little explosive contraption of mine can I reach that? oops well I could do from here I can Oh. OK, 
Okay, yeah, so go quickly up and down. So what I do not know is what these things produce. So let's find out first of all. Fire flowers. We'll just plant one. Get it right, right sort of place and then press Q. Art of dinner to try again. I think that went together with those. Right, so we have one. So what we'll now do is to take the the sigil and hit it three times. Three. I'll see what happens. Well, it's spitting lava up or something. Oh. Interesting. Did that give me two seeds back at all, or just the one? Well, not sure. So let's try that again. That's far enough for it to be on the obsidian. We don't have a problem with that. Right, let's try again with these. I'm not sure if it's going to shoot a mob out. Oh, three. I guess that one shot out of another flower, look. And the seed, I mean. So that's the way for these to be reproduced, as it were. So maybe I will need some more netherrack. Let's just turn this thing on. Oh, that's uh, the wrong one. How much have we got for life assistance? 130,000. Okay, it's still not enough. We still need more mobs. Okay. So now we have to build a pressure chamber. And another problem, where am I going to build a pressure chamber? I shall build it out here, I think. So let's go and get some more stones. First thing I think we'll do is make a little platform and torches we've got. So a little platform, probably two blocks down, I think. Something like this will do, I think, with a reasonable, a reasonable area. I want to be a little bit away from the very edge. Yes, I'm one block away, so. Working from the bottom up, of course. getting a lot of ink sacks from the um, from that little mob spawner behind me Oops, missed that one because you look down there there's still there's quite a few um, squids let's just jump and get those and just hit these with my looting sword and I will end up with probably quite a few let's just turn this one on wrong one let's get out of here quickly What do we get? Five. Is that all? That's unusual. Maybe I didn't pick them all up. Let's just double check. Yes, look. Fourteen. Okay, right back to them. the job at hand is to make a little extended platform for the... And the one I missed was this one here, wasn't it? And the size of the pressure chamber is actually a 3x3 three three or a 5x5. Five five. So we should have enough here for a 5x5. Five five. Let's go a little bit further out to start with. No shortage of stone, so... Up that 
Valley. Right, one torch down there in the middle of that. We should be safely protected from mobs. So I want to put it on this corner if I can. That doesn't cover it, so I'll put another one in the middle. So to make the pressure chamber, let's have a look what we have to do. So we will have to make a pressure windows and maybe a pressure walls. So pressure window, a pneumatic chamber, wind valve, we probably need a valve as well. And a pressure chamber wall, so look. Okay, that will make four. We are going to need... Let's see if we do it by three by three. Eight, that'll just be enough for the base. What do we need actually? 27 minus 1 is tw um, 26. How do we do the glass ones? Maybe that's, oh, that's the same. We'll do that as well. We'll do two of these, I think. Probably makes four. Yes. And glass in the middle here. There are eight of those, and the valve. Okay, that's a relatively straightforward recipe again. I may need some more compressed iron, but having said that, I actually do have some already prepared. So let's just, oh, there it is, in fact, here. I did it twice for my explosion. I just want blue fire. And we need some more walls. So what do we have now? We have 24. Well, actually, that's really just one. So we need another set. Let's do another set of windows. That was clever, wasn't it? Oh. Right, plenty now. 24. Okay, so to do a 5x5 five five, we would need bigger area, but let's just start here with a 3x3. Three three. So we'll do, we'll put the walls down the bottom here, with these sort of pressure valve walls and windows. So if we just put down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, move this out of the way of course. Yes, I put one too many, let's get rid of that one. Probably a pickaxe, I guess. Doesn't tell me. Right, that's those done. So now we need to put the windows. Let's just put some windows down here in the middle, all the way around, I think, except for one. But we need the valve. Oh, do they need to be rotated? That's interesting. Let's put the valve down. Oops, the valve down here. Wrong one. In fact, since I put some of these in the wrong place, let's just see if I can use a crescent hammer to turn them round. Which I haven't got on me. It must be in this little chest here. Oops. Oh. I hate you when I do that. Uh-huh. Also we need to put down a torch. Let's just do that with this before we go too further, much further. Can I turn these around? No, I can't. I've got to dig them up and do put them down again. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. I see. If you can only have it on two sides, okay, good. So in that case, we shall put this one down. Hmm. It doesn't matter in the corners anyway, does it? We don't need to have them on the corners. So we'll just put one down here and then take the other ones, the chamber walls, and put it on the sides here, on the corners, I mean. 
Uh, we need a valve, so I'll put the valve. Oh, let's get rid of this one as well. It looks a bit strange. I think we'll put the valve here. So we just simply put a roof on this now. And I wonder if we have a way to do a door. Okay, valve. Now, from what I understand on this, once you click it, you can see that it's a 3x3 three three pressure chamber and it has its GUI, so that means it's working now. Somehow or other we have to provide this with pressure. I think this is what these are for, so we can give it a... Let's try shifting it. Yes, that'll go into that valve. So now we need to make somehow get some air into there. And I think we probably want a valve here uh, to make sure that we don't put too much pressure in. Yes, that looks reasonable. And a safety valve as well, I think we need. Oh. Interesting. That rotates as you do it. So here's a pressure regulator tube. Let's put that on there. Probably could move everything back one. I'm not sure yet. And does that have a GUI? No. And I suppose the last thing we need to do is to put this air compressor on the end of it. Uh-huh. Now what do we have to do in this? An air compressor, we have to give it fuel. So I reckon that we've got a reasonable amount of wood. And wood would probably be a good fuel. So let's just take some out of this chest over here. I think it's where I get the wood. I can use zombie pigment. Yes, yeah, 50, 64 oak. Yes, there is, look. And let's just put that in the redstone furnace, I think will be the best. And while that's cooking up, let's just uh, go and kill a few of these guys over here. There are a lot, aren't there? These are obviously baby ones because they're not dying in one hit. Wasn't the way very really long. Let's keep the plant seed just being made. My food bar is down a bit. I'm not sure why, to be honest with you. Let's have a look. I better do some eating in that case. Maybe slaying all these mobs is a hungry business. Right. Back up. Cool. Got a lot of junk, let's get rid of it. Got some enchanted gold boots, protection one, unbreaking one, that's good. Osmanium, yes. Don't need zombie brains, don't need gunpowder. Take that with us, we don't need zombie rotting flesh. A lot of XP floating around here as well, let's just get rid of those. Spiders up there, let's get rid of these. Oops, a zombie. Missed. Try again. Yes. And another one. Okay. Looks like we've got rid of a lot of stuff in here. Some string, of course, from the spider. Some spider eye from the spider. That'll do. Let's go and put this stuff away. Actually, the. the this must be about full now. Let's have a look. I've got some gunpowder on that. 
There's the strings in there. What did I say I wanted to do? Let's just put these bits away in here. This chest is already full. And the only thing I can actually repair are these two. Other than that, there is nothing I can do there. Maybe these two golden boots I can combine together to get some on the anvil. We just check. Let's see how much it's going to cost. Seven. Not quite a hundred percent, but they'll do. I've got so much XP as well from all these mobs. Let's get rid of some of that. Can I reach that chest? Oops. No, but I can shoot an arrow. Let's just sort that. Sometimes you can see stuff in there when you've sorted it. So I'm going to either have to make a new test or get this one to be bigger. Let's take those out of there for one thing. No, there's nothing else in there I want. Okay. But of course we can put away some of this iron. And we can put away some of the compressed iron. Not much left now. But there's a big structure. And I wanted to get the charcoal to see if we could decrease some pressure, didn't I? Now, I do not know how to get into... Put things in here. Let's have a look. Do I have to break it? Well, right, that broke that. Now let's get the seeds. I'm uh, growing those on, so I have to pick them up. One, two, three. That'll do. This, the other ones can be there for another time. Where's that thing gone to? It's big enough. I should no problem seeing it. So now I think what we have to do is put these in here. Let's just throw those in. Q. Step back a bit. Uh, uh. Have I got my? Yes, I have. Oh, I need to check something else as well. F. I don't know, but I'm going to put a torch on top of it. If I can, that is. Oh, I can't. So that means there's no danger of mobs spawning from here anyway. Okay. Let's go up here again. Select number four. Step back a bit now. Let's get the... Ah, I've still got the magnet signal. This one activated. Try again. Now let's put the window back in here. And now, I do not know how much charcoal we're going to need. Let's just chuck some in. Oh, I forgot problems. No machine running. Uh huh. Upgrade information. Ignore redstone. Okay. Low rate, so signal that basically means ignore redstone. Uh huh. I don't know what to do. Alright, I shall look that up. And until next time, I shall say bye for now. Bye for now.